Yo, it's Joe, and welcome to another video. We're going to be continuing the last episode of Calamity, episode four. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a bummer right now, but we're going to see where things go from here. I'll be taking notes as much as I feel like I need to anyways, and uh, let's see what this bad boy's about. Hey, there's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on. Everybody's um, stressed out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, um, are going to, it's been three rounds, so what is that, like 36 seconds? Um, we return to the astral realm, um, we come okay. back here, um, uh, you in a sea of silvery mist and beyond them stars and you see Tempest approaching for a moment oh boy but then you see it, it's not it's not Tempest it is a body composed of Starlight. Watch it be a Amethyst, liquid glass. And stepping through the mist, you see a Vandra. I, I knew it, bro. Oh, boy. Reaches. Don't touch me. Oh shit! It's so long to do only that. I can't bear it if you were to touch me right now. Xerxes, what have I done? You done goofed, is what you did. You. But at least he gets to meet with the Vandrin one more time. And that is not a fault. I mean. That is not a fault. I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit of a fault when I'm assuming he's referring to the lies that were told to him. It's kind of a fault when the person literally tells you I am the basically the liar of liars and um, you're gullible. But I'm going to tell you this anyways. And then and then you trust what he says. I think if we're being honest a little bit of accountability, I'm just saying. I... I love you more than the stars and the moon and life itself. Are you in this place because Laren has sent you here? No, I don't know how I... No, Laren didn't. Or maybe she did. She sundered the tree. Do you know what happened? She sure did. The tree. Yes. Yes. Do you know what came through the tree? Yes, I do. Um, I missed you. And he leaps at you. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Um, he embraces you and holds you close. I hold him back. Um, he goes, I, I did not. It is too much to bear that I have waited here in between these places for seven years to see you for but a moment before I lose you. Damn, I don't yeah, that's lose tough. You. you will never lose me. Never. Uh, uh. I take off um, my name stone and I give it to him. Oh, nice, nice. Holds it. Nice. Puts it around his neck. He looks and says, I, I, I know that time is of the essence, it but sure also time is. here is strange. This, this place is in between. Years ago, when I was first knight, my darling, I would have told you 
but it was the very beginning, and we did not understand it yet. I told Laren it should be me. She did not pressure me. Oh. She was my dearest friend, and I love her with all my heart. It was the role of a first knight to journey into danger. Wow. Laren. Wow. Wow. So this whole time, he did all that willingly for our sense of duty to his people and his best friend. He was like, nah, I'm the first knight. If anybody's going to do this, I'm going to do it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Explained her vision to me, the, the, the astral lay right. Aeor opposed the gods and the matron of ravens in her ascension, and Laren's vision was from whence do the gods come? By what token do they award themselves that title, and what realms beyond could we explore? It was a beautiful dream, and I knew that there was danger, and I wanted her dream to come true. Damn. She sent me here, and I was protected, or so I thought, and I was protected here, but when I returned, the we didn't understand the tree. We didn't understand the calyx, and intentionally so. The druids did not trust us with that knowledge. And truth be told, the tree didn't kill me. When I was moved out here, I became anchored to this other realm. You can see mm. that I don't. Your boy was right, look man. Like I did. The tree did not kill me. Exandria was killing me. I was a foreign thing. I was not of that world. The tree was pushing me back out into the astral. That's why I started to vanish. The tree was trying to return something that it was protecting the world from. Wow. And if I had the ability to communicate past this, I would have, and her vision was not the simple magic of the threshold crests, not a quick move, not a one-way trip, not a single destination, but truly to take a ley line off of the face of Exandria and chart it to the stars that we could go wherever we wished and be whatever we wished. And we didn't know the spell that the tree was writing. We just didn't know. Damn. Damn, man. That's kind of wild. Like, <laughs> Evandrin seems to be, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but he seems to be a bit of an opposite when it comes to uh, Xerxes, as far as like his attitude towards like his sense of duty and his abilities. He seems a little bit more humbled and selfless, I think. And, uh, it's just crazy, man. I, it, like, the whole time, can you imagine, like, Xerxes having, like, this guilt? Like, dang, like, he just disappeared. It was my fault. I couldn't figure it out. You know, why he had disappeared? Why did this happen to him? Why did he get this, you know, illness of sorts and just literally disappear? I thought he was dead. You know, he's racked with all this guilt. And I'm sure, you know, Laren was as well. Um, but it's good to have, like, that little bit of closure. At least Xerxes knows in the final moments what really went on. And that it was more of a choice on Evandrin's part. Um, and, yeah. I hope that Laren is able to figure this out as well. Either by Xerxes saying it her seeing Evandrin again, at least before they go out, I would like for her to get that sort of closure as well. It's safe here. Well, 
safe, I suppose. I'm not quite alive or... I mean, I'm alive. I'm just from somewhere else than where I'm actually from. And, uh... Evandrin. Our son is still there. How do I... Elias is still... He's still there. He's still in Kath Moira. Get him here. How? I don't know. He's like, listen. I don't... Bring that boy here what, because... How, why are you it, here if, if Laren didn't send you? I don't know. I'm here. <laughs> Better get that boy to safety. Tell me the truth. Why are you here right now? I look around me. I look down. I try to see any sort of uh, remnants of what just happened in that room. Behind you, you see the mace. You're a spirit. You may tarry here for some time, but you are moving on. Damn. I failed. I fell. And now I'm here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't know for how much longer, but I feel a pull to another place. Well, wait. Evandrin. There's a way around this that we'll f we can just be clever. Let's just figure something out. I haven't been able to find a way back, but now there's two of us here, and we'll find a way. We'll find a way. You know I can't stay here. I look at the maze. All right. All right, you move on to the... If you move on to the afterlife, we'll find a way to resurrect you. I need to find a clever Wait, way Evandrin. to get back Evandrin, to save stop, Elias. Stop. And if I save yes, Elias... save Elias. Save him. Uh, uh, save I, Elias, I don't know how to yeah. get back to the world. I haven't been able to find a way for years, but... but I'll, Do I still have a connection to Tempest? You do in your, I think, I think post death. No. No, I don't, and I'm not in the same plane. I don't think that works. Um, you see the mace behind you, on the ground. I think what Brandon is uh, yeah. trying to say is that your only ticket back is you're gonna have to pick it up. The Mandarin. Uh, I had no idea that. The life of the first night in that tower would be so lonely. I failed you, and I made it lonely. Damn. I should have been a cleverer spell sword than I am, because I know how special you are. You tapped into something deep and profound. When I saw you for that moment, there have been times where I could see through Tempest's eyes, and I saw you wield that power earlier this night. There is a place beyond the stars that your heart alone can reach. And I, I don't know of you since the first day we met. Is that where you want me to go? Is that where you think my place is? Yes. You. And you see here, Evandrin looks at the mace narrows his eyes. He doesn't like what he sees there. You see, he says, yes, you can go. If you have been struck down, if you have been killed, then we will find a way. We will find a way. There are, yes. there are resurrections. We will find a way. Evander, listen to me. Okay. I believe in my heart that you will find a way. I know you will. 
but you know me. And I know what I believe is true. And I will never give up. The age of Arcanum is dead. Sure is. What comes next? <laughs> Whatever Don't comes next better it. not be, yeah, I was just I about to say, it. it better not be with the mace. Oh, no, the mace. I was Find just saying. Way, and if that place up there amongst the stars is where I belong, then I will end up there. You see, he looks to you <laughs> as you reach for the mace. Basically saying it is what it is you at this point. You eyes. You know that if you move into the space beyond, that your beautiful husband will not find a way to save your son. He has been trapped here for many long years. If Elias is to be saved. You gotta grab the mace. And you know what must be done. If any of them are I knew saved, it. then I know what must be done. I knew he was gonna have to do this Your in the last part. Grasps the mace. I say to him, what follows the age of Arcanum eventually must be the age of salvation. And I grab it with all of my strength. He looks at you. <laughs> Fire. <gasps> Your gleaming armor is charred with flame mm. beyond recognition. Is there going to be some more PvP now? Like, I don't know what this is going to do to him as a person. Is he still going to have agency? Split as two curling ram's horns oh, no. move from your skull. You see, Evandrin looks and goes, Xerxes, no! Xerxes! You feel yourself being pulled. You know the bargain you have struck by accepting this power. And he looks out after you. Moving through fire, you are not burned. And at first you wonder if it is due to some mm image of your new form, but you know that that's not why you're not being burned. Because the devil wants his followers to hurt, and you're not hurting because from the stars themselves, a love as profound as any that Exandria has ever known surrounds you. And you hear a Vandrin's voice in your mind. I don't know how deeply you have sacrificed to do what must be done, but I know this. There is no God that strides this world that I worship more than I worship your heart. Ooh, that's a bar, bro. That's a bar. There is a power beyond the stars that you alone could find. And though you may be his by working of foul magic, I vow this. I bear your name. I bear it on this stone. And one day I will bring you home. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You arrive back in the chamber and Nidus um, is stable on the ground. Um, Pesha and Loquacious are both dead. Both dead yeah. It is the fourth round since they have died. 
What is my state? Do I have hit points? Do I have spell You slots? have 40 hit points. You have the spell slots you had Fuck. while you were alive. Okay. Oh, my God. You just look different. <laughs> you got a, you've got a mace. I've got a mace. Do things. Is my telepathic bond still on, or is that severed? I think the bond... Uh, give give me a... Uh, do, you, would, do you think Xerxes would keep it, or do you think he would sever it? I, mm. I, <laughs> I think it's gone. Cool, it's gone. I think um, it's gone. You come back. Um, I don't think he would have known better. I think it would have just left him. Um, uh, you come back, and as you arrive, um, you see your friends. You, uh, uh, you get here, and Laren, immediately on the screen, you see uh, Xerxes curling ram's horns, charred armor, wielding a mace, no shield. Oh, man. But the, as you s- are holding the mace, you've arrived, there is writing in Infernal growing around the mace. It's like the contract for your soul is oh, writing man. itself upon the mace. Oh, it's not finished man. being written? Uh, it's not finished being written. Uh, can I assess the situation around me? I'd like to know if I can tell that he's still alive. If they're you can dead. tell that he is, you, you can tell that your old friend is still alive. Patia and Loquacious are both dead, but quite recently. Yes. And um, Vespin Chloris is in this chamber, oh, um, man. who wheels around to see you and goes, <laughs> uh, but sees a fellow fiend and regards you. Uh, appropriately. Appropriately. Does not seem to advance on you. Oh, this place. shit. This is now under my control. Uh, oh, shit. Give me a persuasion. Can, oh, I, oh, can, I, can I use yeah. a bonus action? <laughs> yes, you can. I'm going to use my channel Divinity. Okay. It gives me a plus five. So, so re- emanating from me. Friend. Yeah. Oh. Emanating. Mm-hmm. Uh, Godless uh, no more. Yeah. 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 Emanating from me is uh, just like the, the, the ripples. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. He's he and now he's under a god or a betrayer god, so to speak, right? If he was uh, just so powerful without one, I think that he's gonna be crazy strong at this point. Yeah. And the all sense of calm, they all settle in themselves as I uh, uh, use my channel divinity. Uh... When he does that, mm-hmm. yeah. yo, Dwelmer, my homie, yeah. maybe works a little different. Can I use her like a, like a bit of an intercom? Sure. I think I've yelled through her at people. Sure, sure, I've sure, sure, yeah, charge. absolutely. Ooh, um, okay. you hear the moment you say that, what have you become? If you're him, bring them back! And this is through Dilmer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that you just like feel this like uh, 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 peaceful presence just emanate. And, 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 and it floods it into Dilmer, because Dilmer is a subject of it as well. Yeah. Um, so. I will gonna... say, actually, because of that, roll this with advantage. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. That's always good. You, lo- you love advantage? Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, 34. 34. Nice. Cool. Um, uh, Vespin looks out at the at the now shrieking uh, uh, Dwyomer and goes Aah! and screeches out uh, and blasts her with a fireball, uh, destroying her. Um, um, but you see that he goes and stalks and begins to stalk down the hallway. Mm-hmm. The master has told me that you are to bestow upon me some some magic, if you can. Ooh, big brain, big brain. Another persuasion um, check. In order to I will serve say this, him. As you say this, you are rapidly losing time. time. Okay. As uh, you can continue this interaction with Vespin, but certain clocks will begin Fuck. to tick. Okay, past. and I need to know this. Cool. Fuck. Um. The tree. Yes. Pieces of it dead. Anything. <laughs> Com- it's just... completely, completely sundered around. 
Um, Damn. Uh, I let Vespin leave. Give me, you give me, yeah, you can give me an insight check on Vespin if you want. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, insight? Insight. Uh, 22. Um, so that's okay. That's good. It's okay. What I'll say is this. As Vespin begins to leave, you look at Vespin and you see in his face the thing you did not see in the Lord of the Hells. A look of pain and recognition of something that was once a mortal man. But you see, he nods to you and... I run up to him and I touch him and I touch him. I, I, I'm gonna say, I, this I will bring us him. into the fifth round. Come okay. Cool. I need help. Oh, man. Cool. <laughs> Go for it. Um, so I touch uh, Evandrin's name stone and mm-hmm. I, uh, 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 a, a cleansing touch through that name stone onto Vespin. Mm-hmm. I need him. I need him. Okay. Fifth round. Uh huh. So what is ideas. so what is the significance of the rounds here? One second. Because I know time is ticking, but um, what is the significance of so, the, what do the rounds the have to do 18. with, with yes. this? You cast your ability. Yes. The wording of which is you fail all saving throws automatically for a minute. I do. Um, but you allow a corrupted being a potential to make a saving throw and attempt to come back or restore some portion of itself. Oh, is he your ally now, so he gets a plus five? Maybe. Save it till after he resurrects me, all right? Um, (laughs) um, uh, Okay. Um, so, what you see, I, I, hoped, I, hoped. I, I rolled, I rolled a save. Whatever he's playing, and I hope this works. Yeah, I hope this Xerxes. works. You do what you attempted to do on the devil, on the Lord of the Hells. You attempt to give an opportunity for redemption, for understanding. The very act that doomed your soul. an understanding and a belief in the power of redemption that Evandrin thought was beautiful. You stick to your beliefs, even though your beliefs may have doomed not only yourself, but the world. Yep, sure have, sure have. The Lord of the Hells is older than the world. Vespin Chloris was a man. The power of stars flows through you for what may be one of the last times as you are changing into what you will become. Vespin, is this naivete, is this foolishness to open yourself up and give the chance for redemption. In this instance, the skin regrows. You see the face of a man still in a fiendish body. He goes, I don't know who you are, grabs the mace. We don't have much time, cast time stop. Boom. He reaches his hand into the haft of the mace what? and says, "Bad contract." No, and you see no, 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 no. All throughout the no, room no, no, as he has no, stopped no. time, looks no around way. and goes, "I don't know what power this is you hold, but thank you." He said, I "Bad contract." Soul, but they usually put the claws about when it goes into effect at the end. He inscribes a series of runes at the end of the haft. The deal for your soul goes into effect at sunrise. And the redeemed for the moment, Vespin Chloris, gives you one night. Holy shit. He stands there, just his face peering from a fiendish body. (sighs) Is he back to what he was before? You see, he is no longer 
this shrieking devil puppet that he was. Uh, you see tears stream down a face from gaunt eyes, but it's the face of a man. You see, he goes, Gah! dispels something in himself, Gah! and it comes back, his spine grows. Oh, I don't have enough power to help you. It's, it's all right, it's all right. Listen, we don't have very much time. Let me come out. Um, I don't know much of what's happening. I am Vespin Chloris. I know. And you know what I've done? Yes. All right. Um, I am going to turn back. I don't have the power to stop this. Whatever gift you had bought a moment, but it's a moment only. That mace, you know what it will do to you come sunrise. I do. All right. I, uh, um, uh, in life I was a, a malconvoker, uh, a, a infernalist. I, I sought I thought I could do it. I thought I could do it. And the world will remember me as its greatest villain. Damn. That history hasn't been written yet, and you are not out of time. But we are running out of time, and I rush to this guy, and I revivify him. You have that? I have it, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? It's my last third level slot. Okay. Within, within the time stop? Within the time stop, it's your last third level spell. Yeah. Um, you're still in time stop, so the magic is leaving your hand, and you see it seeping into Loquacious's chest, his body. Um, uh, you see that Vespin um, looks at you. Um, he says, he says, all right. Um, uh, uh, and he, uh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Am I awake? Uh, you are awake in this moment. <sighs> Uh, why, why, what's happening? You, you, uh, I like, oh, I don't have telepathic bond. Um, fuck. However, you got, you got horns. I will say this. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, ah! Loquacious, Loquacious, you hear him say, I don't have the spell. I don't have the energy for the spell. Loquacious, it's me. It's Xerxes, it's Xerxes. There's not enough time to explain, but we have spell friends that are down. Uh, I rush to Nidus who I know is only unconscious, and I lay um, in hands, give him five hit points. Uh, I will say this, you are, you are about to get rapidly come out of the time stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, both of you give me perception checks. I, I'm I'm not even percep perceiving, I'm reaching down to the stone that she gave me. Um, as you say, you don't have the energy for I it. don't have the energy. Uh, loquacious holds raw ether in Do his Do I know hand. what it is? That's the one that I take it. The Holy spell. shit. <laughs> and I, uh, no, I forgot about patient, that. And I cast Revivify on her. Boom! Uh, Quay and Patient, you are both at one hit point. What? For one dollar, you could have seen this early and gotten these other perks too. So become a member for just one dollar is worth it. Um, that should uh, never have happened. I that should never have happened. Happy. Let's um, go. It's the power of love. It's the power, it's the power of, of love. Um, Yo, let's go. Three times. What's on your face? I, I, instead of answering, I'm the ne if I have time in this time warp, uh, um, go to it's, it's coming at you. See, Vespin looks and says, "You do not have much time left." But listen, you know of what the Lord of the Hell spoke. The one of you. Ah! You have precious little time. If there's anything you must ask me, ask me it now before I go. I will try to fling myself somewhere else in the city, far from here. But I will come back. I cannot stay like this. How do we save the city? How do we stop them? Like, what, where, what is, it? what have you left behind? You had to have left something behind. He says, there oh is no, boy, they are bro. here. The They're tree here. Is destroyed. They are here. Go, the, 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 the woman, the first one, the one who warns you first, the hall of prophecy. Oh we'll go there. shit. I rush to Nida, said I, he, and I he lay He dimension hands. doors and says, oh, she. says, do not bother with my name. In the darkness, I saw my name would be destroyed. And I asked beyond all things not to be forgotten. And I know the Lord of the Hells will see that wish granted. I thought, I am a fool. And I have brought ruin to the world. <laughs> Hope that you are forgotten. And he moves uh, through the door and disappears. 
Damn. I lay on hands on Nidus and I give him five hit points. A little bit of redemption, Ooh. though, for Vespin Chloris. I don't know you if he was like a big figure in the lore up to uh, this Sarit point that we didn't know about. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. But damn. Okay, if I had to wait for him to show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, so, it's something I positive. Wait, 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 wait. Um, yeah, but I was by myself for a very long time. Uh, it's a pretty crazy show to watch. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna fully. It's it, so. Uh, you're back, um, and uh, and that's Sorry. that's all you. So you have no more revivifies, correct? I have that's, no more revivifies. That's all she wrote. That's, wow. Uh, it's gone. Well used. Next well used. Well used. Well, yes. Looking out through the like viewing window, I know he said. Uh, I heard the Lord of Hell say that uh, Vespa needed to go to a gate. He needed to prepare a gate. Yeah. Would I have any idea where that would be? No, but there's a limited number of places that you can start ruling out. Um, in other words, it's, it, there, there are multiple places it could be. You need to know more, but knowing more is a thing that could happen fast. Okay. Then I wait for Sarah. Um, you wait for Sarah, Sarah you arrive. Um, I um, uh, will bring um, all of us here. I'm just gonna say you arrive here in this chamber. Um, okay. Vespin, you hear a shriek from deep within the Meridian Labyrinth. He dimension doored somewhere, but it has stopped. The, 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 uh, the, he is, he did not have someone to give him until sunrise. Damn. He's gone, and he belongs to the Lord of the Hells. You gave him a moment and a moment only. Are we all here? You are all here? We have to go to the oracles. I guess. And I just wrap my arms around him. I'm perfect. so sorry. Aww. Oh. You, you had no idea. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't. Where? Where are you? What happened what did you to you? I made a deal. I only have a day before I lose myself. Most of myself. Uh, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him real hard. <laughs> Bar punch. Bar uh, punch. You made a deal? For what? For you. It's what allowed me to come back to save you. I mm. saw you in that moment when everyone else was down. You stood beside him. What did you do? Don't look away from me. The city is burning. The city is burning, and he's here. And I played a part in him we both coming. Did. We all did. Well, not all of us. We have to fix it. No, not all of us. You're right. But we've all made deals in the past. M maybe not all, but we've all made deals. Maybe not as h horrifying as the one you just did. That's, and that's what I we said, man. We don't have man. time for self-flagellation. No, we don't. There's a gate. He's making a gate to bring back the emperor. We have to find the gate and stop it. We can still save yeah. the city. Vespin. How? We can this fix this. clear-headed Vespin said that we need to go to, to the Oracle. Then why are then we waiting go. here? Uh, are we sure? We not, don't have much time. We don't, but we have nowhere else to go. There's nothing else but this. What's her name? Carwin. Carwin. Yes, Carwin. Carwin, that's right. Um, I'm... I don't know how to read anymore. <sighs> I... I'm gonna... We need... Look at us. We're not in any shape. No. Whatever any of us can do to help... We need to do it now. We need, we need it now. We need to go. We can go and do that at the same time. I start to move and I, I, can't, I put land hands on myself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw a third level healing word on Loquacious. What'd he say? And I'm gonna throw a third level healing word on Patia. Hands on myself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
and do that at the same time. I start to move and I I, can't, I put lay on hands on myself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna lay on hands? hands? What is that? Lay on hands. Um, it's 3d4 plus 5 for each of you. I'll throw a, a healing word right back at you, pal. Hey, thanks, pal. Uh, third level. I will say, you guys do, I mean, you guys do all have the ability as you're moving. If you want to take full actions to do cure wounds or anything like that, you're also welcome to do oh, that as well. Yeah, just cure wounds. Every, uh, everybody is like kills each other. <laughs> at will, major armor spam to try to get my arcade board cool. back up. Cool. Um, all of you move. You rush to. Um, uh, you rush to the Hall of Prophecy. Um, On the way there, do we see people fighting? People. I'm sorry. Oh, it sucks. Fifth. Yes, uh, you. Cure oh. Um, oh, cure wounds. Yes. So it's still just 15 points. Um. Uh, you move from here. You see the crumpled body of Dweomer on the ground. You exit as fast as you can, casting spells. Pesha, give me um, an Arcana check. Um, can't name it, can't put a thought to it, but you feel something like holding ether in your body, something that you like took from the Tree of Names. It's hard to, to talk about, but as you came back, you got something from that legend lore, something big and powerful. It's, it's hard for your mind to access you. There's like something magical inside you that you don't know if you would survive releasing it. Holy shit, like a nuke? Uh, uh, it is not infernal, it's something from the tree, but there is something within you, and you're just, you're, on a 16, it's not, you, you're, you're, you were dead, you've come back, um, everything has gone to hell, your city is uh, slowly <laughs> erupting Crazy in flames. Crazy sight to come back to. And, uh, but you feel that, unmistakably. What I hear Laren and Xerxes talk about to the emperor and empress, do I get a ping? Do I know what they're talking about? Yes. Emperor Raushan of Fire and the Empress Kamort of the Earth. Um, mm, so that was who I thought it was in the intro. You uh, with the stained glass the on the, I think, left. Um, I'm assuming that's the Emperor, the and then on the right is the Empress. Wow. Um, is, are, is everyone, is it just chaos? People running around? Yeah. Madness? Like the, the sinking of the Titanic? Yeah. Or. You see, oh, as you begin walking, you see open crowds of people fleeing from devils. Okay. Um, you are welcome to join them in battle and stop them. It is 4.15 in the morning. Oh, wow. And the sun will rise before six o'clock. Oh boy, he don't get much time, man. Get, uh, ritually get the telepathic bond back up. Would you want to take 10 minutes and make it 4.25? As we're, no, as we're running. As we're running. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. Thanks. Thank you. Spread it. Oh, wow. Um, then the first thing I ask, a true kind message to Sarah. Are your children The voice chat is back in business. They are. I hope it was worth the risk. Wow. Oh. I mm. have two questions. Actually. Yes. Where is Tempest right now? Tempest is still here. Your, your griffin can Great. fly. He flies down. I, I, I call him forth. I mm -hmm. uh, climb onto him, and I move up so I can get as much visual on everyone. It is chaos, and no one knows what to do. People are screaming, running, there are devils everywhere, fires are starting up. Excelsior Plaza uh, is a vision of hell on Earth. Uh, um. You see, uh, you know, flying up, uh, chaos and ruin. I would like to do one thing. Mm -hmm. As I'm absorbing all of this, taking it all in, mm -hmm. and seeing my part in it all, uh, Xerxes uh, closes his eyes and he tries to hold on to that cosmic connection mm -hmm. one last time. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use the banner. Um, you hold the banner aloft as you fly, the banner of Avalir. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Normally, he what would does that do? Shout. Mm -hmm an incredible, passionate battle cry. Mm -hmm. But this time, it's just silent. And that energy flows out into anyone within sight. 
all of those within sight gain temporary hit points as they look and see the banner flying. And you begin to hear people shouting and saying, defenses, get defenses out to the edge of the street. Move, move quickly. And you hear mm. spells firing out. Um, you see, uh, you know, Damn, bro. Colossi this is and crazy, Carol Hulks man. moving into position. Um, this is crazy. And, uh, you look down and see like, uh, figures begin to <laughs> it's crazy to see how all this is playing out and um the differences in like the demeanor of all the characters and like how they've kind of changed a little bit from episode one to now the finale um it's crazy man um a lot of that pride and a lot of that arrogance has been uh they've been humbled a little bit <laughs> They've been humbled, and you'll love to see it because they all needed it. Now, it's unfortunate that it took this to happen, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, this is definitely the uh, the, the end game, so to speak. And they are running on fumes, but they gonna make it happen. Flock under the banner. Uh, as you fly overhead, the city begins. You hear horns and things shouting. Um, it still looks like chaos, but the people are alerted that something is wrong. Anyone asleep awakes. Um, Everybody gets 19 temporary hit points. 19? Oh, Come on, man. It's, Damn. What is it like your level plus? It's essentially, yeah. Or something? Uh, it's and and charisma. I give you That's 3d4. Dope. Uh, plus five. Yeah. Uh, I will. Plus, let me oh, ask this. Do you? Roll yeah. Uh, do you have that? Not to be mean. Yes. Do you? It, has it been a long rest? Do you have you refreshed your ability from? I haven't used this yet. You I used it at the Ivy table when yeah. you used your inspiring leader feat, I believe. Oh, the inspiring leader f feat. Um, Yes, so this, this still active. This still requires that access to that. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm going to allow the banner to be used for the populace, for the population. but not, not as a game mechanic for us. Mm. Perfect. You guys don't get 19 no. temp HP. <laughs> My Griffin Damn. does. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank uh, you. That's fair, it. though. That's um, fair. You rush to the hall of prophecy. Um, it is unguarded. Uh, the, the guards have clearly moved off because they've heard screaming and cries for help and went to investigate. Uh, the door is open. Uh, you rush inside, um, and as you do, um, you move into the chamber where Xerxes was before, and you see Carlin, this beautiful oracle, um, asleep in bed. You see, with the magic circle around her, Break it. Break it. Break the circle. I'm not mad. None of us are mad. Uh, yeah, she's not. Uh, I'll break it. Uh, Nidus, you boom, uh, dispel the circle. It breaks, and she goes, ah! and so it's a healthy, powerful looking. Um, uh, she actually is going to upcast an immediate uh, okay. mass healing word. Oh! Whoa, what is that spell? That Everybody sounds crazy strong. Yes. Oh, shit. Um, um, <laughs> is coming through. <laughs> um, uh, and says, <gasps> Wait, what did that have to do with Vespin? Her in her head, and she, boom, uh, rises from her bed into the air. When crowned fire and a throned earth stride forth to join ancient war anew, then mother and father shall fall to the hands of their imprisoned kin, and all the stars will weep until the death of light for lost Exandria, whose every ashen breath will wish for death, and never knowing peace shall stumble evermore to seek in vain the end of horror without name. Hey, yo, that was crazy. That freestyle was wild. We have to stop it from landing. If it lands, they're let they're freed. The gate has to be at Kath Moira. The giants, the, whatever it's called. Get me to the helm. Get to the helm. Give me an arcana check, if you'd be so kind. Fuck. 
So bad. 13. Um, if anyone wants to give the help action. Can I <laughs> inspire her? Yes, you can inspire. Yes, I, this, is, this is help. Help yeah. me think good. Yes. I'll, I'll give you the help. I'll Thank give, you. I'll, I'll give the help action. You. Yeah, a, 13, a 13? Yeah. Oh, it was worse. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's the last Sorry, no. to, it's a D10? D10. D10. That's about 16. 16. Damn. Brendan, I understand how all of this works. I'm the heart of Avalier, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the engines, it's me. I know this. Um, <laughs> as you begin to say, uh, get me to the helm, that stone is shattered, the one that Sarah saw. Um, mm. On a 16. Uh, there is a world where you fix the helm in the next hour and a half. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, there man. There is a world where you fix the helm in the next hour and a half. Uh, it would require you to get there uh, and know everything that the dead Akami Ro knew about how the helm worked. I will also say we got a bunch, we got 11 batteries and a rudder. Laren, you have paid very dearly for your astral lay right. With the Calyx destroyed and the Drashari tithe now irrelevant, there exists a possibility to work some great magic with the lay right itself. On a 16, you can't think of it right here in this Hall of Prophecy, mm. but the limiter, the etheric limiter is gone. It's gone, yeah, because uh, the tithe is irrelevant. Is gone. We know what ruin that has brought to Exandria, but that ruin is already here. And now you have a device that has never before been seen in this world and will, in fact, never be seen again. But you, on a 16, you know one thing. Ley lines are attached to the world of Exandria itself. And the world is in and of the same thing as these primordials. And if you could take a ley line and move it off the world, what might you be able to do to a primordial? Oh. Mm. Getting that is a very bad idea. And I kind of step back to think and figure this out. What is your bad idea? All of the energy, everything. Everything I built still works somehow. So we move the city or we move the emperor and empress themselves. I have 11 working batteries and a rudder that can do something that's never been done before. Mm -hmm. They're under the mountain though. The emperor and the empress. So are the ley lines that we've been traveling across. So she gonna there try to get him up out of here, huh? You to use the uh, the engine yeah. to transport them to another place. Yep. That's what the best yep. I've got. Wouldn't you have to know where they where they are, or, or or would it be when they emerge? I think I know where they are. There we go. You do? I saw it. Yeah, I saw it when I touched the tree. Wouldn't we have to go there to touch them, to, to activate it, or, or can you just point it at them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think this could work. It's got to. We can still fix this. We have 11 batteries. More than six of us. Yeah. Uh, just to double check. 
Our two options are to try to fix the helm, barely make it in time, prevent the city from connecting with Kath Moira, stopping all of this, or locate a primordial emperor and empress under a mountain and try to move them off this plane. Even if we fix the helm, there's no guarantee that the city isn't still going to connect to Exandria. Is that true? Oh, man. Not only that, if we, if, even if we stop the, the descent, all of these demons and devils are still here, right? They'll still, they'll try to get control again, won't they? So we just have to move the goalpost. Carwin looks at all of you, having descended back down. I, I know what I have seen. If the Emperor and Empress join battle with the betrayers, all hope is lost. If the war is rejoined like it was in days of old with primordials and betrayer gods side by side, there will be no new dawn for Exandria Damn. in all the ages of the world. It was for this. I'll say something to you that I've never said before. Please ignore me and go get to work. <laughs> nice. So really, there's only one choice. I, there's something, I'm going to get us more automatons, uh, uh, constructs. Um, I will meet you there. I will as well. Okay. While you go, I, I think I have to, I think I, I have a duty to report what's happening. Uh, if I can get word down to Kath Moira, Maybe we could save a lot of lives. Yes. So I, I'll. I just cut you off and kiss you. Oh, in the kiss, I'll cast cure wounds on you. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's incredible. It's the power of love. <laughs> uh, too much. It's so uh, eight points. Oh, thank you. Oh, first level. Oh. Oh, I can do it at higher levels. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I was about to be like, damn. No, no, it's just as first. Oh, it's, it's, first level. it's not a, the you best. Get another point. Another one. Another one. Wow. There it is. Okay. Look at tongue in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna patiently wait for their smoochie to. Yeah. To it's end. longer than. By the way, I'm only be. wearing leather armor and no other clothes. Nice. <laughs> just that top. You're just Donald Duck in it. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, penis. Cool. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna say, you kiss. Um, Larry. Aaron, you you know uh, that that you have a miracle. You have an engine that works, and it's, it's, it is an apogee solstice. Everything is in your hands to try something that has never been done before. And again, I think the questions remain: even if you prevented the city from touching down, which is what the Lord of the Hells wants to happen, you're still living in a world with the Betrayer gods. How long can you keep the city in the sky for if they want to come back and push it down? Yeah, exactly. It's um, there's nothing uh, you can. Laren, what, what do you do? You take off, Nidus. You're headed. You're headed to to level, yeah. uh, summoning of the dragon again. <laughs> nice. We don't have time to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 Dragon of Avalir, and you will do as I command. Oh, no! <laughs> that's crazy. That's right. That's the fuck I say. Uh, Love. Uh, uh, so we'll do that. <laughs> he's, um, he's an ah. Um, uh, you take up on your dragon. Shut the fuck up. Where you at? Listen, I, I, I mean, I, I say to to Aquatius. The, because I know the gods aren't here. The, the betrayer gods that, that I saw aren't here anymore. They're going to Vasselheim. Yeah. We absolutely. need to, they're, they're heading to Vasselheim. If you can send some kind of communication to them, uh, they, yeah. need to, they need to be warned. I'll go to the Herald. I, if I can go to the Herald's tome, I can access all sorts of things. There. You're going, the, 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 it's across the plaza. Oh, yeah. oh. oh shit. Oh. I'm hopping Hop on. Hopping Okay, yeah. where do I hold on to? Me. Okay. Yes. Um, incredible. I'm okay. taking, I'm I'm going to take a, 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 how much time do I have left? 
it is 4, 15, 4, 20 a.m. And until sunrise. Um, <laughs> have until sunrise. <laughs> um, uh, you have, and, 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 and sunrise is 5.45, so you have a little over an hour. Before I lose myself. Before you lose yourself. Um, Laren is here. Laren um, is going back to yeah. where she needs to go to do the work that she needs to do. Okay. Oh, man. I, 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 I stop you, and I, all, you, all you see is me just hold your face and then just kiss you on your forehead. I forgive you for any, anything that you think you've done. I forgive you. And so does Evandrin. Thank you for giving the closure, bro. Thank you. I That's push, what I want. Uh, the locket into his hand. You take the last thing I have. The last oh. thing. And run away. You run away. Um, Sarret, uh, Pesha, Xerxes, where are you heading? Sarret. Where did you send your children? To be with their mother. Where is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Damn. How old is young Maya now? 14. Why are you asking all this? What a lovely age. Wait, what? I walk to my great grandfather's statue. That's you are going. You're going to the Ark Step. You're going to the top going of the, to the top Arch of the city. Step. You head there. Um, Where is Xerxes going? Oh, we're going. Well, you yeah, you two are going to Excelsior yeah. Plaza. Oh, Xerxes. Where is Xerxes I'm, going? I'm going to see my son. You're going to go find Elias. You see Xerxes is heading over the edge of the city down to Kathmyra. Mm. He looks different. <laughs> hmm. I follow Xerxes. You yeah. got it. I told Lara and I will meet her there. Yeah. Quick stop for me. We'll join you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. All of you. Why was she asking that question of Sarah? I'm confused. Doom has come. The betrayers walk the world. Carwin of the Hall of Prophecy, who predicted this, has told you the fate that will befall this world should the Primordials rejoin their ancient allies. Fire spreads. The Ring of Brass has precious little time. Everybody has precious little time. Let us all hope that they may do as they have so often done for their city. And we'll find out if they succeed after the after break. After the break. Oh, man. Hey, critters, Laura. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Right on time, too. I was just about to stop this part, so right on time. All right, guys, so that was my latest reaction to episode four. If you made it this far, leave a like and maybe subscribe. And if you are a subscriber for just a dollar, you want to see stuff like this early and get other perks, you can support me for just a dollar, become a channel member. Like I said, great way to support me, but you get perks in the process. Again, just a dollar. Think about it. Anyways, I'm going to get into my thoughts on this episode. Here we go. Seeing how all this is playing out towards the end here is really bittersweet. The sweet part is that I'm getting to see a little bit more backstory and we're getting closure to a couple things. Um, mainly Evandrin, which I was right about. Your boy was right. Like, my whole prediction, like, the way I said he was on another plane, ethereal, you know, in a way, like, I was 100% right there. Love to see it. Um, But I'm happy that me paying attention and trying to piece things like that together pay, paid off. Um, It doesn't always happen for me, but I'm I'm happy when that does happen. Um, But we got closure as far as that goes, and I'm glad that Xerxes was able to tell Lairin before he left uh, that, you know, Evandrin forgives her, he forgives her, and, um, give her that bit of closure there. Um, everybody being brought back was crazy. I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't know that he still had this revivify, revivify, revivify. Um, so that was crazy to see, and then it actually, like, all worked out. Um, Getting closure on Vespin Chloris. Again, this is like all about like closure. 
giving him a little bit of moment to uh, explain himself uh, for us to kind of get into his headspace as to kind of like why he did it and the kind of person that he was prior to. Because, again, being humbled, he's like, dang, I thought I could do this, but I couldn't. Um, but also seeing that with all of these people, really, and I think I said it in an earlier episode, too, but I'm going to say it again. With everybody here, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. And it's a little more literal than metaphoric at this point in the story anyways. But um, even Vespin, man, everybody wanted to do good in their own way. Um, a lot of it was selfish. They wanted to make a name for themselves and, you know, climb the hierarchy, I guess. But nonetheless, I think that there were moments when they genuinely did just want to do good for their people. And Vespin Chloris was one of those individuals, as well as Patia, as well as Nidus, as well as uh, Loquacious, Lairin, Seret, Xerxes, as weird as it is to say at this point but i think that they all meant to do good and it just turned out that they didn't but i'm glad that we got to see a little more humble side of them when they get knocked down a peg um still not a fan of the characters in general it's one of those things where it's like yeah you kind of learned your lesson but why did it have to take this much for you to learn your lesson um i don't know uh but hey they learned their lesson it was uh for the a little bit of time that we have with them pretty good character development so far um as good as it's gonna get and now they're just trapped between a rock and a hard place and i not gonna lie i don't know i don't know which is the right choice to make um but it's pretty clear that at least we know that one is more of an absolute apocalyptic scenario where the um, emperor and empress rise up with the betrayers and his subordinates. It ain't going to work out with the primordials. You know what I mean? Like the, the primordials and the betrayer together, it's just not going to work. Um, there's, there's no, there's no victory for the mortals if they're resurrected. So I guess that just leaves uh, stopping the uh, primordials from being resurrected. How long are they going to be able to hold the betrayer and the devils at bay in the sky? Um, I don't know, man. This is going to be crazy, and I'm really I'm curious to see how this is going to end. But um, if there's anything that I missed, anything that flew over my head... Um, yeah, feel free to let me know, share with each other, just, you know, watch, make sure not too many spoilers, and, uh, that's about it, man, we almost there, so, uh, stay safe, guys, have a good morning, afternoon, or night, and <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, peace.